Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya Na hi asatyat paro dharma iti ho vacha bhur iyam sarvam sordham alam manye rate alika param naram Na hya satyat paro dharma iti ho vacha bhuriyam sarvam sodhum alam manye prateli ka param naram na hya satyat paro dharma iti ho vacha bhuriyam Sarvam sodhum alam manye Priteli ka param naram Satyat Paro Dharma Ladies Oh ladies Too far Na not he indeed asatyat then compulsion to untruthfulness padaha more adharmaha irreligion iti thus ha uvacha indeed had spoken buhu mother earth Iyam, this, sarvam, everything, shodham, to bear, alam, I am able, manye, although I think, rate, accept, alika, param, the most heinous liar, naram, a human being, There is nothing more sinful than untruthfulness. Because of this, Mother Earth once said, I can bear any heavy thing except a person who's a liar. Purport. On the surface of the Earth, there are many great mountains and oceans that are very heavy, and Mother Earth has no difficulty carrying them but she feels very much overburdened when she carries even one person who's a liar. It is said that in Kali Yuga, lying is a common affair. Mayaiva vyavaharike. Even in the most common dealings, people are accustomed to speaking so many lies. 
No one is free from the sinful reactions of speaking lies. Under the circumstances, one can just imagine how this has overburdened the earth and indeed the entire universe. Om Ganat Mirandhasya Gananjana Shalakaya Chakshurn Militam Jaina Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha Shri Chaitanya Mana Pistam Stapitam Jaina Bhutale Shriam Rupakada Mayam Tadhati Shapadantikam Bande Hung Shri Guru Shri Jata Padakamalang Shri Gurun Vaishnavamscha Shri Rupam Shagrashatam Shahagana Raganatan Vitam Stam Sajivam Shadretam Shavadhutam Parishana Sehitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padan Shahagana Lalita Shri Vishakhan Vitamscha he Krishna Koruna Sindho Dina Bandho Jagat Prate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Namostute Tapta Kamshana Gaurangi Radhe Vrindavaneshwari Prishabhanu Sute Devi Pranamami Hodhi Priye Vansha Kolpatarubhyascha Kripa Sindho Bhyayevacha Patita Nam Bhavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Adwaita Gadadhar Shri Vashari Gaur Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Dama Hare Dama Rama Rama Hari Hari Nahya Satyat Paro Dharma Itiho Vacha Puriyam Sarvam Shodhum Malam Manye Rite Lika Param Naram You are asking me to be untruthful. And that's the greatest sin. The, we discussed yesterday that Bali Maharaj was a man of his word. And Shukracharya was asking him to go back on his word. Break his promise, essentially to lie, to say, I'll give it to you, and then not give. So you're trying to make a liar out of me. And there's no worse a dharma than that. The lying is the is a demonic propensity. Here notice probably translates a satyat as the compulsion to lie. It's not that one has to lie, but one is, feels compelled, one automatically, just the, this, this urge to lie, the habit of lying, it becomes commonplace. Why should I tell the truth when I can lie? Instead of accepting things as they are, I have to fabricate a story, bend things to suit my purposes, deny what I know to be true, affirm what I know to be untrue, just as a, as a way of life. The way a thief, he, he, he sees something, he pockets it. Even if he doesn't need it, he's a thief. So if he steals, sees something, he steals it. In this age, Kali Yuga, practically everyone is addicted to this propensity to lie. The 
Prikshit Maharaj saw that the bull of religion was standing on four legs. Austerity, cleanliness, mercy, and truthfulness. And Kali was beating on these legs. So where is dharma when everyone is infested with untruthfulness? Asatyama pratishtam te jagadahur anishranam aparaspara na. Scratch that. Pravrittim cha navrittim cha jana navidarasura nashocham napichacharo na satyam te shuvidyate. About the demons, Lord Krishna says, this is their program. Uh, they don't know what's to be done and what's not to be done. Pravrittim cha navittim cha jana na vidurasura. They don't know what's to be done, not to be done. Nashocham, uh, there's no cleanliness in them. They're all, uh, they're unclean. They're accustomed to dirty dealings. And they're dirty in so many ways. Dirty minds, dirty activities, nasty. Uh, Ugra karma. Nashocham napi achara. They don't know what proper behavior is. Na satyam te vidyate. And you won't find truth in them. Their profession practically is lying. The politicians are the poster boys for Kali Yuga lying. As soon as you hear it from the mouth of a politician, you can assume that it's not true. <laughs> you can assume that it's not true. How often? It's, it's like discovering some rare species of, of uh, some rare lost species to find a, a truthful word spoken by a politician. Routinely, lying, lying, lying. And so many others. So many others. You can't find, the, the truth is hard to find in them. But this is a, one of the qualities of knowledge in the 13th chapter. Not what I'm thinking. It's a different place. Then where is it? 18? Interesting. I was thinking of something, but it's not there. Mm -mm. It's elsewhere. But in any case, uh, this is a Brahminical quality to be truthful. Samadhamma tapa socham kshantir arjava mevacha. Jnana Vigyana Mastikyam Brahma Karma Sabhavajam. What is Arjavam? Simplicity. What does simplicity mean? Yeah, no duplicity. Somebody thought that simplicity means like simple living, high thinking. That's not what Arjavam means. Arjavam means telling the truth as it is. That's Straightforwardness. Straightforwardness. This is the Brahminical uh, qualification. He speaks the truth. Uh -huh. Prabhupada said, even to an enemy, he'll speak the truth. 
Sama Dhamma Arjavam. Not that always tricky, always hiding things, always bending things for his own advantage. He'll, he'll tell you straight out. Arjavam, straightforwardness. Finally, Krishna is the absolute truth. So the truth means finally what Krishna says. And the preachers are meant to say what's true. Not what's popular, not what wins votes, not stick your finger in the air and see which way the wind is blowing, see what'll make people happy, see what people like to hear. The business of a Brahmin is Krishna's delivered a message, given a message, and the Brahmin has to deliver it as it is no adulteration, the message without change. Hmm? That's his business. Uh -huh. So, satyam. And <laughs> there's no end to it. The lying propaganda of Kali Yuga is, is a science now. Uh -huh. At the university, there are professionals who learn the science of lying. Uh, advertising, propaganda. You get, you can be paid a uh, high salary for professional quality lying. Professional quality lying. That said, there are circumstances where lying is dharmic. When it's necessary to protect someone's life, for example, uh, then lying is accepted. But not this habitual lying, even about small things, big things, any things, lying, lying, and more lying, to be honest. This is, this is as it is. I'm not gonna say more. Other questions? Microphone, microphono. It's said in this verse that, that Mother Bhumi doesn't, it's hard to carry the weight of a liar. Hard to carry the weight of a liar. But Yudhisthira Maharaj is famous for never telling a lie. So that means that everybody else is a liar. One person is famous for never telling a lie. <laughs> yeah, one person is fam famous for never telling a lie. <laughs> so, <laughs> so everyone else, therefore, consider the situation of Mother Earth in Kali Yuga. <laughs> that practically, if, if there's one person who's not a liar, it's like, I found one, I found one. A person who's truthful. There's a, in Greek history, there was one philosopher whose name was Diogenes. And he used to go around the city of Athens with a lantern. And he would go up to people and, and then go to the next person. So what are you doing? He said, I'm looking for an honest man. <laughs> looking for an honest man. Yes. Yes. Is on? Hare Krishna. Maharaj, sometimes some boys who want to come to temple, their parents don't allow for yatra or festival. What does that have to do with the subject at hand? Sorry? Does this have anything to do with the subject of today's class? Yeah. Oh, okay. So then, the, then they speak lies to the parents that they have some ah. college work or office work. So should we encourage such a thing? 
They lie to their parents that they're actually working when they're coming to the temple. Better if there can be a straightforward explanation. But sometimes to, for the service of Krishna, one may lie. Prabhupada talked about cheating even among family members. How in Kali Yuga, even the family members are cheating. Then he said, we also had the opportunity to cheat our family members by taking sannyas. And about Yudhisthira, who never told a lie, finally he did. And so then the, some people say, oh, his chariot never touched the ground until he told that lie. Then his chariot touched the ground. And Prabhupada explained that until he hesitated to follow Krishna's instruction, his chariot never touched the ground. Krishna, how can I lie? I've never told her a lie. All right, we'll, we'll kill an elephant and we'll do something. For Krishna, Bhima struck Duryodhana below the belt, which is against the rules of fighting. Arjun killed Karna while he was trying to free his chariot wheel, also against the rules of fighting. So when, uh, when Krishna orders, or for the interests of Krishna, these things may be done, but carefully. Not that I'm a devotee, so every word out of my mouth can be a falsehood. That's not very good. Our platform should be like Yudhisthira. He was truthful, and when there was a need, then he had to lie. Krishna wants it. But not that habitually lying, just lying. And then lying to cover your lies. And then lying more to cover the lies that covered the previous lies. Yes. Hare Krishna. Uh, can I make a comment, Maharaj, on this? Excuse subject? me, while I'm thinking of it, false accounts are also another form of lies. False accounts. <clears throat> to submit false accounts to the, to, you know, to the GBC man or to give the book account to the BBT, this is how many we have in stock when it's really something else. Here we pay for the books as we get them. In other parts of the world, in Europe, for example, they pay on consignment. So they take stock. We have this many books, this many we've sold, and as we sell them, we pay. So then, at least in one instance I'm thinking of, they gave completely false stock reports so that they could avoid paying a lot of, they could cheat the BBT. No, this is what we have in stock, but the real stock was completely different. So this lying as a way of life, lying as a way of convenience, lying as a way of solving problems is not recommended. Then everyone will know that whatever he says, forget it. He can't be trusted. Yes. Hare Krishna. I have comment on this subject that um, actually Dronacharya was the teacher of the Pandavas and Kauravas and uh, he, knew, he knew all the weapons and art so fair fight nobody was able to defeat him. So what? In fighting nobody was able to defeat uh, Dronacharya. Yeah. So Krishna wanted some solution. He should be defeated in order to victory for the Pandavas. Right. Then, um, then Lord Krishna uh, told Yudhisthira, you speak lie. Hmm. But Yudhisthira said, I will not speak lie, whatever happens, but I will not speak lie. But then he said, you speak half lie, hmm. at least. Then he said, you say, Narova Aswatthama Hato, Narova Kunjarova. Narova Kunjarova. He said, yes, I will do that. Then uh, what happened when uh, the Dronachar will not believe to anybody except uh, uh, Yudhishthira, because you know he will not speak lie. 
सो वेन हि अटाट दे वर्ड नरोवा अटाट दर्ड नरोवा दैट टाइम एबल टू हियर एंड वेन हि से कुंजरवा मीन्स अस्वथम इज डाइट आयदर मैन और एलिफेंट सो वेन हि से नरोवा दैट टाइम वॉज एबल टू हियर बट वेन हि से कुंजरवा दैट टाइम कृष्ण ब्लो द कॉन्शियस एंड मेक मे सो मच साउंड so uh, he could not hear actually uh, uh, the second part of that and then dronacharya left his weapons and he sat in the asan and uh, was meditation what happened about the asvatthama he was uh, charanjeev not able, not to be killed by anybody so in that time he was killed by drushtadhumna hmm. thank hari you krishna. hari krishna thank you very much thank you maharaj for a wonderful class uh, when you said about lying like there are some cross crime if i kill somebody that b- somebody kills me some other lifetime but lying has what type of punishment hmm lying has what type of punishment lying has what type of punishment, punishment. i'd have to look in fifth canto <laughs> first punishment is that you lose your reputation that you lose your reputation everybody knows this just like our president formerly there was one richard nixon who was president of the united states and he was caught in some cheating and then he was caught lying and then he was caught covering the lie with another lie and then another lie and another lie so he completely lost his respectability and finally he had to resign from the post of president because everybody knew this is a farce this is a farce so that's the first thing first punishment is that you lose your reputation people know he's not he's a, he's walking around pretending to be a brahmin but he's liar number 1 whatever he says don't believe it that's the first punishment then what other punishments there may be we'd have to see that's up to yamaraj but another the other another punishment is since you've lied to everyone they don't feel any difficulty lying to you yeah it becomes this is the thing it becomes a habit to cheat to lie to it, it just like an urge it's not that we have to lie but it's like an urge it's like a habit you know they it, it, it's a habit and that and then it, then it becomes uh like an anartha within the heart like the urge to criticize we don't have to criticize everyone but some people they can't help themselves they have to criticize they can't stop that's their life that's what they that's what i do like a clock it ticks so we criticize uh like ramchandra puri so some people they have this problem not some so many they just can't stop lying if they have a choice between telling the truth and lying they'll lie <laughs> the compulsion to lie probably called it here so if we're if we're lying to the non devotees yes then the next thing is we'll lie to the devotees then even among the devotees we won't their trust will be ruined how can we trust your your word something else rikshna hmm. maharaj uh, maharaj uh, uh, most of the problems uh, is because of miscommunication most of the problems are because of miscommunication so as you said that uh, when you you know try to say in a tricky way you are mentioning in the beginning of the class not that every time you have to tell it in a tricky way and all not so, that every time you have to 
tell in a tricky way tell in a tricky way you have yeah. to be straight forward mm. so uh, like we have also seen that whenever we say anything straight forward without thinking that how the other person may feel when i speak like this then well that's another thing that uh, while speaking one should what is that satyam priyahitam chayat this is austerity of speech uh -huh. satyam priyahitam chayat what's the beginning anudvega karam vakyam ah satyam priyahitam chayat swadhyaya vyasanam chayava vanmaya tapa uchate this is austerity in the goodness in goodness uh, that anudvega he's not compelled first of all he doesn't have to talk anudvega karam he's not like i got to talk i got to talk i got to talk i got to talk he speaks as much as needed anudvega karam vakyam and satyam what he says is is true it's austerity to speak the truth is an austerity because the habit is to speak something else the habit is to speak and speak the habit is to speak untruthfully the habit is to speak in such a way as to harm others so austerity means to, to be grave to control the tongue to say what's truthful uh priya hitam chayat uh priya is, is mm, pleasing and uh hita beneficial to speak something meant to harm others is not good and as far as possible <coughs> we should speak in a way which is pleasing some people are gifted like indra dumnamar she's one of my heroes he's whenever he speaks in such a pleasing way you know in in personal dealings he, he if he just says a few words they're so nice so pleasing any outsider would think this is such a nice person such a nice man because the words from his mouth are naturally pleasing he has that gift some of us are less well endowed and some of us every word of out, out of our mouth without realizing it is rough and mm, agitating that's anudvega karam uh, not to speak in such a way as to agitate others udvega means agitation anudvega karam not agitating others like children what how do children enjoy sometimes they'll tease the other child they'll tease the other child they'll say something till the other child cries then the first child is happy he made the, the other child angry or he made the other child cry now he's happy have, have we seen this hmm? have you seen it yes so with adults also sometimes they just they take pleasure in agitating others or just thoughtlessly they agitate others so one should not speak in such a way as to agitate others one's words should be pleasing truthful but if it comes to a choice between pleasing and truthful the preacher especially has the job of telling the truth Prabhupada gave the example some man is flying a kite on on the roof and he's near the edge and he's busy watching the kite and then you say hey what are you doing are they baba ba da 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 uh, you think hey, why are you yelling at me but it's his duty it's his duty because he's trying to save you from falling off the roof so everyone is being lost to the tricks of maya 
So if a preacher speaks strongly, even if it's sometimes not so priya, we favor satyam over priya. And Prabhupada was like that. He would speak pleasingly, but he was also strong. And sometimes he would speak, you may be pleased or not pleased. This is what Krishna said. Something else. Hmm. Hare Krishna Maharaj. Um, my question is... Uh, the question has to be loud. Um, uh, any persons who are residents in a Vrindavan... Any person who what? Residents in a Vrindavan... Any person who is staying in a Vrindavan... Staying in Vrindavan. It is a compulsory to, um, back to go, his, go to back to Godhead? Any person who is staying in Vrindavan... Is a compass, uh, is a compass, it is back to Godhead? His what? Back to Godhead? It is compulsory that he goes back to Godhead. No, he doesn't have to if he doesn't want to. <laughs> I was thinking, because the subject was lying, I was thinking you, you, when you started that people from, from Vrindavan and Mathura district have a, something of a reputation for lying. Sometimes it's said that that's why Krishna said to Arjun, Konti apritijani hi name bhakta pranashati. You say it because I'm from Mathura, they won't believe me. <laughs> Hare Krishna Maharaj. Sometimes uh, uh, somebody asks us something about, and we know it, but we don't want to reveal it. So, if we say, I don't know, so will it be considered lying? Or, yeah. or is you know, but you, but you say you don't know, that's, that's a lie. So, but th that thing is not, uh, means, um, required to, means we are not uh, in position to reveal that. Means, uh, <clears throat> that is not meant to be revealed to others. And if somebody is Asking, so then what? you can say, I can't say. Where's this thing? Well, I, I, I can't say. That's almost the same as I don't know, but it's true. Or you can just. And shake your head. As far as possible, we sometimes and you can think of other times when you have to have to lie for a person's welfare or benefit, but that should be done very not for one's own benefit. Bali Maharaj is being asked here: you lie so that you can keep the keep the property. Not that. Yes, as you mentioned. Uh, we can try in this way, but in this way, he'll understand that he knows, but he's uh, trying not to reveal. Yeah, it's not that everything has to be revealed to everyone. Truthfulness doesn't mean that everything is told to everyone. Just like Rupa Goswami, uh, what is that? Guyama Kyati Prichchati, to reveal one's mind in confidence. That means I'll tell you things that I won't tell him. Because it just like our Krishna also says, what is Bhaktosi me sakacheti rahasyam yetadutama. Because you're my dear friend and, and you're my devotee, I'll tell you something that's secret, rahasya. That means I don't tell anyone, any, any rascal. Bhaktosi me sakacheti. Because you're confidential, I'll speak to you this confidential knowledge. So truthfulness doesn't mean that everything is broadcast to everyone. I found out that you were, yesterday you somehow, you were seen drinking down the street. Then I come back to the temple and I find a microphone. He was drinking on the street. He was drinking on the street. Because I have to be truthful. Being truthful doesn't mean being stupid. That means I'm just interested in broadcasting my own glories as a broadcaster of the truth. 
and I don't care about you. If I care, then I'll, maybe I'll call you in, and I'll speak Prabhuji, you know, we saw this and what's going on. Or maybe I have to go to some responsible person and say, Prabhuji, I, this is what I saw. There was one sannyasi, he had some difficulty and some other members broadcast it and Prabhupada was furious. Later I was just reading, one of those broadcasters had trouble and Prabhupada said, that's why. He was broadcasting the fall down of some other devotee, now he's having trouble. It's not that everything we know has to be told to everyone. That's another foolishness. We, if you look at Vidura, Mahatma Vidura, what he speaks, what he doesn't speak. He was strong like anything. He told uh, Dhritarashtra that you're keeping a fence personified in your palace. This Duryodhana is an, uh, against Krishna. He's a fence personified. He'll ruin your whole kingdom. Just told him straight out. Later on, he came back after the Kurukshetra War. He said, you're, you're old. You've been blind since birth. Now your teeth are rotting. Your liver's gone bad. You're hard of hearing. You're living on scraps thrown to you by Bhima, who killed all of your... Uh, sons, so many of your pet sons, you're living like a dog in the house of your enemies just to stay alive. No, he spoke very strongly. That was not Priya, but it was Hitta. It was for his benefit. Later, when he met Uddha, uh, Uddhava. There was some discussion and Uddhava was asking, no. Let me think. He met, he met Uddhava and he was asking Uddhava about the Yadu dynasty, about the Kuru dynasty, and Uddhava told him everything, this news, that news, except about the disappearance of the Yadus and the Kurus. That part he didn't say. And it's mentioned that that was a religious principle, that bad news travels on its own. You don't have to broadcast it and create pain in the hearts of others. So in this way, by studying the examples in Shastra, we have to know how to, how to speak properly, how to speak nicely, how to speak humbly, how to speak truthfully, how to speak strongly. Another question. One. Sometimes we speak, uh, if we speak partial truth, hmm? partial truth, if we speak partially, any truth? Partial. Partially. So will partial be, truth. Yeah. Like uh, we said, and then he came to know that, uh, no, there, there was something else also. So then... Yeah, we speak part. <clears throat> Again, one should try to be straightforward. Sometimes, if something is confidential, I'll tell you the part that's not confidential, and the confidential part I won't tell you. That may be required. But not that I try to distort the truth as essentially a, a, way, a way of misleading you. And especially not as an ordinary practice that this is what I do. You ask me something, I give you a crooked answer. You ask me something else, I have another crooked answer. Ask me something else, I'll tell you a half truth. Ask me something else, one quarter. Not like that. As a general, our general principle should be, this is what it is. Open, open book. Hare Krishna. Maharaj, I just remembered hearing one lecture of Srila Prabhupada in which Srila Prabhupada is uh, mentioning that how His Grace Brahmananda Prabhu 
ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ಲಿ Maharaj, keeping this in the mind, uh, it came to mind that once one devotee was asking that to go to a certain place, his company, his go office, to, a certain place? He, he, to go to some place, from one place to another place, the company is offering him a uh, car, uh, rental car. So then he was asking, Prabhuji, I need, I need, means, if I don't need the car, but I raise a bill, so i get 3000 rupees and uh, the company is anyways cheating us in many ways they make us work extra and or many such things so then if i do like this and i get 3000 rupees extra so then what is the difficulty this is the this is these are the dealings in kali yuga that i pres- i raise a bill for something that i haven't spent for i make a list of expenses that are not real i if the cost is 1 lakh i listed as 2 lakhs if i sold the building for 5 lakhs then i listed as 2 everything cheating everything cheating everything the whole you you buy a package of something the package is this big the product is this big everything uh, everything cheating everything cheating this is kali yuga's everything's like that so according to moral principles this is not very good that we you know every, everything dishonest that uh, the company also cheating me so many ways so yeah. many times uh, you cheat me i cheat you this is the society of the cheaters and the cheated the man cheats the company the company cheats the man the man cheats his wife the wife cheats the husband the parents cheat the children the children cheat the parents everyone cheats everyone the propensity to cheat what is that probably said four defects what is that imperfect senses uh it, it, mm-hmm. it's a fault tendency to fall into illusion imperfect senses to make to make mistakes third and the fourth one is the tendency to cheat these are one of the four these are this is these are the four defects of the conditioned soul and it gets real big like professionally you know people scientists what's the word forge their works their their results you know the test is this but they give the results that way medical reports scientific research expenditures you know, name a name a discipline and there'll be so much cheating so many any field cheating cheating and more cheating because this is one of the core defects of the conditioned souls a propensity to cheat a, a compulsion to speak lies it's not like a tool that judiciously as required when moral principles demand it we speak a lie in the service of a higher truth no just as a standard operating procedure why should i lie when i c- could tell something crooked why should i deal straightforwardly when i can cheat so it's it's this compulsion to cheat 
And the whole world is, is full of that, cheating and cheating and cheating. So that if you find someone who's not cheating, amazing. So devotees should be known for, for honesty, for straightforwardness, for truthfulness, cleanliness, mercy, austerity. The last person you wanted, Yudhisthira cheated for Krishna. We try to cheat Krishna. There, that story is famous that Giri Rajmarsh told that he went to make someone a life member and the person agreed, but then he took the life membership in the name of his little son because he figured this way, I'll get the benefit, my son will get the benefit, and his son will get the benefit. So he thought this is very intelligent. Instead of taking it in my name, I'll take it in the son's name. What happened? His son died. <laughs> and later the man said, Girajji, I'll never try to cheat Krishna again. Try to cheat Krishna, try to cheat the spiritual master. Very bad idea. Yes. Hare Krishna. Maharaj, we see in the case of Vasudev, he gave promise to Kans Maharaj that he will deliver all his children to Kans. Yeah, he did. He, Vasudev promised Kans that I'll give you all of my sons as soon as they're born. But he didn't keep his promise at the eighth child. Yeah. Rather, he hid that child in the house of his cousin, that is Nanda Maharaj. And he instead took the risk of killing that Nanda Maharaj's daughter. Yes, yeah, completely immoral. That he tried to save his son at the expense of Yashoda's daughter. And he disobeyed, he broke his his word to Kamsa. To the degree that Kans, demon like Kansa was also believing Vasudev. Was also? His, demon like Kans Maharaj, he also believed Vasudev's promise. That much honesty yeah, he was. he believed. Because Vasudev was famous as a man of his word. And therefore the pastime, this is Krishna's pastime, that a man who was so truthful as Vasudev, that he was, he came when his first son was born. Yes, I promised you take him. So tr truthful, he knew what Kamsa would do. Still, so truthful. But when, for the sake of Krishna, let my morality go to hell. Yeah, that's also. He didn't tell him everything. But anyway, for the sake of Krishna, and yeah, and Krishna is saying, for the sake of Krishna, then let my morality go to hell. The gopis, how immoral they were to dance with some other boy, leaving their husbands, leaving their fathers, completely immoral by mundane calculation. But they're known to be the, the most, the, the, the pinnacle of dharma because they sacrificed everything for the cause of Krishna. Well, therefore, tarmasya tattvam nihitam guhayam mahajana yena gata sapanta The intricacies of dharma are very hard to understand. Therefore, we have to follow in the footsteps of the mahajans uh, of whom Bali Maharaj is one. Hare Krishna, all glories to Srila Prabhupada.